Hello everyone, welcome back to our Let's Play of Disco Elysium. I'm Chris, I'm here with my co-host Tyler. Say hi, Tyler. Hello, you can't tell, but I'm having lean withdrawal. Shouldn't have done so much lean. Serial experiments lean. Hey -oh. oh, there's the drug tent. Maybe they have some lean. No doubt. Serial experiments lean. Now, we just had an intense convo with the SL here. Mm hmm. I'm just uh, exploring. This post hey, is covered I, in little humanoids. A homunculi. All I right. recognize that song. A pane of etonite has been planted into the snow. Two poles are holding it up. Barely holding it up, it could fall over any minute. A stronger gust of wind might be enough. Let's push it. The pain falls into the icy snow with a soft thunk. I'm 30 to 40 years old, I don't need this. Yeah, exactly. All right, do you want to check out the drug tent before we continue on? No, we have to check out the drug tent now. The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men are listening to some new form of music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. It's safe to assume this is their leader, or at least he thinks he is. Why would we not squeeze in? Sorry, we barely have room for one. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. <laughs> okay. You don't know that. You don't even be. You can't even begin to understand how old you are. You'll never know. I'm actually not. He thinks. I just dislike delinquents. Oh, you're just uncool. I see. He just hates fun and music. I I'm understand. sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. Yeah, you enjoy your gold bond medicated powder and having dinner at 4 p.m. That's a big tent. There's enough room for five people! Now I don't, now I don't like them. They just don't want girls in here. Distilled water. It's loud. Alright, who do you want to talk to first? Let's talk to the leader. You see a youngish man bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello, Andre from the Happy Mondays. Shake his hand. His grip is strong, sweaty, and warm. He's trying to project and inspire confidence. This is my posse, Noid. The young man with earrings looks uh -oh. at you suspiciously. Why does he look like Ziggy Stardust? <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. And why did why does he look like that? An egghead. Egg. <laughs> Together with I... the Burger, who's out there right now doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. How many venues have you organized? We have many in the pipeline, officer. Why are you here? Are you in this tent? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Honestly, for talent. Yeah, thank you, Edhead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shit hole. I, I apologize for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realize this is not how you speak to a police officer. I I he has authority issues. I like Andre a lot more than I like Gary. Funny how that works. Yeah. Like, this guy's being polite because he's like, oh, you shouldn't do that. But Gary's like, no, nah, I'm sorry. But you step on me. Oh. <laughs> There's no need. The place is pretty bad. Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of narcomania on the coast. An attempt to pander to your perceived conservative sensibilities. 
No person his age would ever use a word like narcomania with a straight face. Don't fall for it. Yeah, it's like the daddy, mommy, dobby, prima donna, baby mama, prima donna, art center thing. Enough exactly. to be What are you talking about? I'm talking about the church, and I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dope heads and burnouts if left unattended. Dope heads! Burnouts! Well, I like I'm this. sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revershaw. Strike that! The word! And sad yet, because the dope heads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze, letting you imagine just how bad those dope heads and burnouts really are. Can you imagine it, Tyler? Can I imagine a warehouse full of dope heads and burnouts? Yet I don't have to. <laughs> Good. This calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. This game is nothing if not giving our opinion on the matter. Yeah, what's well, what's really so bad? Like, as far, you, we're going off of your word that they're dope heads and burnouts. What if they're just the homeless or the derelict? They're spooky. Spooky is a very specific <laughs> connotation in the real world that is not pleasant. What do you mean by spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I can say is. Their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Egghead talks Thank like you, DJ Funky Beats. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. Do we want to look into this? Spookiness? The, oh, the only reason I want to look into the spookiness is because when I was looking up music, I found the, the song in particular, so I know that there is a dance sequence later. All right. So let's do it. It's the only reason, otherwise I'd be, I'd be on edge about this. Alright, man. We are going to help the Ravers start a nightclub. I think that's the best thing we can do for Superstar Cop. Andre's obviously very happy you took him seriously. The whole tent is. The boys exchange giddy looks. They're not spooky, they're all just agnostic. <laughs> There's some secular homeless over there. I believe in the middle ground between church and government. That's nice. Someone has to. Yeah. That ropes Pierre wanted, didn't they? Could not tell you. Who exactly are these people inside the church? All I know is that they're, they're spooky. Uh, Let's go with number two. Okay. Truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. Yeah. Also, sir, I'm also kind of reading the questions out loud instead of specifying a number. I should keep that in mind. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just for clarity. <laughs> I haven't seen them before, but you want the police involved, are you sure? Well, there's also the machinery. When I first scouted the place back in February, it was abandoned, empty. It took some time getting the crew together. So about two weeks ago, we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly, there are all these strange machines lying around in there. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. Andre, tell him about the feeling. Oh, and it felt like there was something in there with us, watching us from the dark. No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Felt like silence. Awful silence. But... No actual sighting. Not exactly. No. We've just seen someone who we think is a woman go in and out of the church. A couple of times. And we felt someone, or something, eyeing us inside. 
but that's kind of it. it. Wasn't a cell, was it? And you were just high. <laughs> they probably would have recognized her. I don't know. They're on drugs. You, you could. My favorite, my favorite anecdotes have been people who you know, tried weed for the first time and they like, I see shit. It's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> Tell me more about the machinery. You should talk to Noid about that. I just got a distinct burnout and dope head sign from them. Probably jacked up to some snuff station too. Probably very likely. And what about the dope heads and burnouts? Well, honestly, I can't, but I am. This is a below feeble attempt at avoidance. Basically, he is attempting to weaponize idiocy. <laughs> Damn. This is this is high level stuff. Let's hit number one. Hey now, I'm 70% sure they're substance abusers. Don't let all that technology fool you. Where do you think the drugs come from? The store. <laughs> the <Idiot>. drugstore. <laughs> they they call it the drugstore. Yeah, have you heard of Freet? Price is so neat you can't compete. Shop at Freet. I mean, I don't even know if that's her slogan. <laughs> but I was about to add something watching you. Like, you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. Not human? As in a ghost? Do you know what he means? He means my wife! It no. was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling. Like some kind of crab man. A crab man? Yeah, you know, the way it was climbing up and around the ceiling, like a crab. Couldn't have been a shadow, could it? It was stalking a cell, exhibiting ambush behavior. Ambush behavior. Crabs are usually marine creatures and not known for climbing walls. <laughs> hey, man, you don't know crabs. <laughs> Are you sure it was a crab man? Are you sure it was just not? What if it was a crab lady? I've seen yeah, that word. Yeah, totally. I mean, I didn't personally see it. A cell was alone that time, but I believe her. If she comes out running and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there. So he hasn't even been in there lately. Is he afraid? The baby. You should ask her about it, but be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in the crab. All right, well, we can ask. And yeah, see we'll make... if a cell has seen the crab. Yeah. Well, let's not make fun of the crab people. Sure. Let's not what? Yeah, tell us about the religious sect that owns the church. Oh, yeah. That's a meteor and name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. Shall we mask it? Let's mask it. Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know. I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. They sound kind of fashy if they're called the founding party. Uh, I don't know. And question mark. And they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of the Pericamassian church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the innocentic system, no? Oh no, it's, it is fashy. I knew it. Mm, the innocences are, I mean, the last innocence was like enlightened centrist supreme, so who knows? That's true. I just, like, when we read the innocence book the whole time, I was just thinking, oh, this is somebody who, like, I even said it then, so it's like maps and the meaning meets uh, some other thing, the bell curve. They sound exactly the kind of who would want loud anodic music in their church. You're right, they do. The Pericarnassian church is about love. Anodic music is about love. I got love for my Pericarnassian posse. Love is the relay out of death. We dance. Love is hardcore. 
It certainly Love is. <laughs> Unity. Unity. Make some noise for my insulindian posse. Ah! Right, the, feet, out of the anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the base, as if testing the waters. Well, Tyler? We're going number one. We're just enjoying the beat. Feels good. Feels good. Love can be pretty hardcore. Oh, yeah. It can. He's coming around. You're getting it. Let's go with number four. Hell, yeah. Dance music is about love. So is this church. Yeah! Yako Qatar! The place to be! Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? The one with the large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. You feel like you can go for a little disco when? Or if they get this club going, you've got it in you. All right. How's uh, how's the church doing? I asked Noid to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. A padlock is a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. Are you telling me that there's drifters inside there locked inside? Oh, have they been locked in? Like a week, maybe? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh no. How are you sure they'd starve to death? Did you just fucking shove salad through the window? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, come on. I'm at least 90%. Maybe 85% sure they're still alive. Why did that go down? It should be the opposite. Somewhere in the ruinous past that led you here, there was something called exams. You may have learned the term involuntary manslaughter there. Wow, this guy needed to take a test to be a cop. That's fucked. Imagine that. Forget about the test. When do we get the freaking guns? Hey, I'll, t I'll give you a gun when you tell me your name. You know what involuntary manslaughter is? Yes, I do. I listen to Channel 8 all the time. I know about crime stuff, and I assure you, officer, this is not what's happening here. I'm at least 80% sure they're alive. I mean, come on. Most people aren't ever that alive in their entire lives. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. What does anything mean, really? Shut the fuck up. Now I hate you. <laughs> Andre, we can't be having this conversation right now. Oh, Andre, yeah. I can arrest you. No, this is nonsense. What the fuck? You're right. It is nonsense. Total garbage. I knew you'd see through it. You're one smart cop. It Shut the fuck up. It feels good to be a smart cop, doesn't it? That's a good cop to be. Has a nice ring to it. Smart cop. You wouldn't want to be stupid cop, now would you? But still, maybe he's just sucking up to you. Yeah, don't butter me up. I'm already delicious and creamy. Oh, okay. I won't do that anymore. <laughs> we want the key <laughs> this padlock to the makeshift prison you paid for these drifters. Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. All right. Okay. Have to catch it. 83% chance. You have to catch it. You sense the trajectory of the little piece of metal and plastic. The object <laughs> makes a small ringing sound as it approaches. Just the tiniest chime to your left. ka -ching. The key hits your palm. The speed freaks nod to you approvingly. Thanks, man. The speed freak nods to you. I like a how one of the options... Nod. You proved something. <laughs> One of the options there was like, no, let it fall and pick it up like a normal adult human. <laughs> Just because you don't have hand-eye coordination doesn't mean you're a normal adult. 
No. That's like the idea of like he throws on the ground and just look at him like, what the fuck, man? Other questions? Yeah, more. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. Do you want to ask about the equipment? I think they were pretty clear before about what it was for. I don't think we need to know that. Okay. As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah! All right. Well, that's not what that said, there, but okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm vibing with it. All right, let's get out of here. You know, being a speed freak means you don't have to say what the text does. Oh, do you want to talk to one of these guys directly? Uh, sure. Let's talk to so speed freak here. Talk with Oh, sorry. Andre, yeah. And now you want to discuss things with Lloyd. Good. It's good you talked to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your sign. Can't really talk to people before you get a reading. Yeah. Also, I thought his name was Speed Freak, so sorry for the confusion. Well, he, Noid is the Speed Freak, but... Oh, Noid the Speed he's Freak. He's Noid. <laughs> okay. I'm on Noid. <laughs> but he's the Noid. I hope that cleared avoid, everything up. Yeah, avoid him. But go to Domino's. We're not avoiding him, we're talking to him. Yeah, what's well, the opposite of avoiding? You can't avoid the Noid. The Void is inevitable, and so is the Noid. <laughs> I'm going to turn on YouTube clo closed captioning for this video and see how it does. <laughs> Why? Tell me about the machines you saw in the church. Weird stuff. Specialized. There was a data processor and some sort of long wave machinery. Wires going into water. Gives off a spy sign. Or some fucked up Samaran science sign. You know. The kind that goes head first into the supernatural. The People's Republic of Samara is a product of Revachal's sister revolution on the Grad Isola. It's known as a severely degenerated rogue state. Yeah, let's go with number one. We're gonna be woke. I know, man. I was just talking about the aesthetic. All right, so like the supernatural, I think, wait. Yeah, let's go to number three. Most of it doesn't exist, but there's also stuff that isn't allowed to exist because the moralists think it's too dangerous for the plebs. Psionic powers, pale-related diseases, pretenders pretending to be human, folk rights, that kind of stuff. All right. Yeah, so shapeshifters, yeah, we shouldn't have those. I guess. I guess. What is, what is folk rights? That's actually the one that stands out for me. Don't know, but it's some kind of supernatural um, thing, according to him. Uh, why are you called the Noid? The hardcore aesthetic is esoteric. It's not meant to be discussed with the law at this moment. <laughs> oh, Fuck no. I can see that. Further sign matching would do good for us. One way to achieve sign synchronicity would be by getting us into the church. Okay. Oh, cool. Maybe if we uh, get him into the church, we'll understand why he is called Noid. And then he's going to be like, oh, it means the sun keeps the moon in check. The moon is too greedy. Might just. Back later. Okay. You want to talk to Egghead? Let's talk to Egghead. A young man with peroxide blonde hair holds up a Harmon Walshie tape player, nodding along to the music. He looks at you with a knowing smile and says, Hardcore! Is it? It's hardcore! I don't know what to say to that. Skibba D, Skibba Danger. I am the rearranger. Your right, that I understood. did not prepare for this. <laughs> what to do? Uh oh. Authority is having issues. Could there have been a right way out of this garden of forking paths, do you think? Solve the egghead puzzle. Is that a puzzle? What? What? <laughs> Shut up! I didn't ask to do this. Do you want to try again? Or do you want to save it for later? Let's, let's talk to him again and figure it out. Seems like it. 
You know what? Yes, let's talk to him right now. The young man with the tape recorder acknowledges your return. When he looks at you, he squints as though you were the setting sun. This is hardcore. All right, let's say nothing now. Hardcore. Let's still say nothing. Hardcore to the mega. Is all right going to be dismissive? I don't know, man. All right, let's say nothing. Internally coherent. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> what a, why is the kid getting swerves lately? This is great. <laughs> Have you heard of uh, Contact Mike? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like him after he hit his head on the table. We, we do act like we have severe brain damage. That is true. Still say nothing though. All car. All right. Yeah. Is the puzzle to just say nothing? Let's just keep saying nothing and see what happens. He furrows his brow as his very large head traces the sublime, invisible movement of the music in the very real air of the stuffy tent. Yes, so hardcore. So hardcore. Is it though? Fuck you! <laughs> it is. But is it? I mean, really? I hate this. I hate this. He's just doing, he's, he's doing the path to us, but we just did to him. I was thinking that too. I am the Mike Enforcer. I am the Chick Checker. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Unfortunately, we have not solved the egghead puzzle. Alright, I don't know if I want to brute force this right now or not. Yeah, Yo, can... one more time. One okay, more time. one more time. One Back more time. to the heavyweight jam! Alright. Hardcore! I'm saying nothing. Hardcore! I'm still saying nothing. Wait. No, let's still say nothing. Hardcore to the mega. Let's go. All right. Here comes the night. All right, night's coming. Night's coming. Fuck. Okay, one more time. One more time. We're gonna get this. We can beat Egghead. True. Hard. Full. Car. Say nothing. Hardcore. I mean, really? Yeah. Yeah. This young man adds a capital G before the H in his yags and args. This produces a guttural Gottwaldian accent and makes him sound more animal, more in it. Or maybe it's not Gottwaldian. Maybe it's Oranese. Probably an homage to Oranje, where Arno van Eyck is from, judging by his name. Could you be listening to an Arno van Eyck creation right now? Why is it both good answers? One solidifies that we are already in tune with what he's we're picking up what he's putting down. Another one makes us sound like a huge nerd. It's uh Let's it's see. a truly baffling choice. This is hard. This is hard when it's just the, the riddle is yeah. Let's go yeah. Let's let's do it. The Y to the E to the A 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 to the G to the H to the exclamation mark. Yeah! Damn it, I feel like you're so close. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> One more time, we're so close. True. Hard he agrees. Alright, say nothing. Hard car. What is it? This young man, at, or maybe right. it's not got volume. Is this famous? You know about him? Yes. You know Van Eyck? I'm an Eyckhead. Wow. The skinny wraith looks at you with some disbelief. So am I. So am I. Oh. Is that why they call you Egghead? Because... 
Akat to the Mega, the K became the G, the boy became the man. The advent? Well, we learned something about Egghead, but we are still not really? talking to him like a normal person. Okay, we're done here. All right, we're so done we here. A lot At least for today, or for now. That was very loud. Kim, we saw so much in there. Learned a lot. Did you want to talk to Acel about the crab thing before we go? Yeah. The shaggy hit girl kneels on the sea ice. So you talk to my associates, right? Are you going to help us? With the church, I mean. I mean, yeah, I'll help you all right, but tell us about the crab machines. Great. Let us know if there's any progress, will ya? We've been waiting for weeks here. All right, what did you see in there? Tell me about the crab mandibles that tried to get you. Oh, that. You're not going to believe me. There's no point in me telling you. She's less prone to blurt it out, crab man, than the others. Test me. Okay. I went in and I saw a woman next to one of those machines there. Noid calls it a mainframe. She was dressed like someone who's been raised by their grandmother, you know, strange old clothes. Had this absent expression, didn't say anything, just stood still. It's Cindy! I bet you'd Cindy. She was in there painting something very thoughtful. Possible. Go on. And then, you know, right behind her, a man crawled down the wall. Upside down like a crab. Down the church wall. I think the woman didn't even know he was there. He was completely silent. He stopped right before he got to the floor. Then just hung there like that, looking at me. Right at me. I fucking turned around and walked out. End of story. Like a crab, you say? What does it look like? Man look? Is it like a crab? It was too dark. I couldn't tell exactly. Come on. She obviously could. She already went into detail. It's Stalin. What do they look like? <laughs> he looked like a banger, okay? He was all muscular and stuff. Had a mesh tank top. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that only made it scarier in a way. A crab and a banger? Yes, a banger. As in a mess gang member. I know what it sounds like, but that's what I saw. You're wrong, I do believe you, because it was me. Why? <laughs> Honestly, what would you stand to gain by lying about this? Nothing. Anyway, what else? That's a good point. That doesn't mean that she's right, but it's, I mean, it's a ridiculous lie for no reason. So people don't usually tell ridiculous lies for no reason, especially to cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah no one lies to cops. That's it for now. Okay. I wonder if we get a preliminary look at the church. Maybe. It's a bird. Notice it is. I'll comment to every once in a while, but the paintwork on the textures in this game is so beautiful. Yeah, I agree. All right, just had a quick look behind here just to see. Just trying to be thorough for everyone's sake. Oh, oh absolutely. We have lowered this drawbridge so we can cross it if we'd like. It's like the Tin Pot Church, uh, so, like the Ukrainian Tin Pot Church in Winnipeg. I guess it's based. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. That's, I think it's one of my favorite churches. Shall we go in? Yeah. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock, carelessly drilled into the wood. Open the padlock with the key. The lock turns easily. You hear a click as the shackle pops open. I can't Let's wait. Go. I can't wait. Hey, we're gonna go in and feel like they crawled out the window. Into the dark innards of the church, as though rushing to fill a great vacuum. 
in the heart of the city. Here we are. Damn, that's a big, big stained glass thing. You should walk here, not run. Ah, that's fair. I don't run in church. Have you ever run in church before, like down the hall, down the aisle? Probably it's happened. Bark beetles. <laughs> she dances like a crab in that uh, vine with that song. It's connections. Complex equations. Ooh. What are those over there? Wires with a bowl of water, as advertised. The silence in this part of the church, it's almost palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Ooh. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Still hear something. And then it's gone. Almost all of it, but for the faintest of hums. You can hardly hear your own breathing. Damn, these are both good choices. Let's go with number two. I feel it's the most aggressive. You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total somehow. Cam! Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. What is happening? I bet. The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. But the sound isn't bouncing. Anything? It's beginning to worry me. The church just has strange acoustics. Some engineering trick. It's definitely real. The lieutenant doesn't reply, but you can sense him tense up next to you. And look up. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible, then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. We can try to see beyond the shadows, 28%. I want to take a guess. I bet this is like noise canceling. Not noise canceling, but like when they put uh, those sound panels up, block the sound. And right now we're in a place where the sound isn't bouncing properly, so it's not echoing. There's no reverb. That's why it feels quieter. That's my guess. It's possible. Do we want to punch it? Yeah, let's take punch a chance. It. All right. No. Just darkness without end. It makes your head spin. Try to make anything out. There's nothing. You're dizzy and disoriented as you see dark and more dark rising. Officer, what are you looking at? What's the darkness like? It's like filled up. with vague shapes of woodwork. The sense of a great height. Ooh. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. That's Maybe fun. it's possible to talk to it. Shall Come we? on. Yeah, let's do it. I like this a lot. Is that a man? Looks more like Part of the carpentry of the building came alive and is now studying you intently. The crab man. Can we be quiet for now? Fuck. Let's assert our authority. This is the police. The man leaned forward a little, fixing you with a steady, 
unreadable gaze, then speaks. Habitual alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's gonna be all right. You come to the right place. That accent is Villa Lobos, a peninsula in Mesk and a district in general. There's a sizable contingent of Villa Lobos speaking Mesks in Rivershaw. It's in the right place for what? To get typed? Here you can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of that bottle. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? Hmm. Yeah, I'm a, let's go with number two. Oh, yeah, sure. You don't know anything about alcohol use. You got it all under control, way. I could smell the control all the way over here. Hmm. <laughs> I'm doing just fine, thank you. I know it's hard to admit that you got a problem. I was like you once. Couldn't take an honest look into my own heart and see I was in pain. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> nice to know you trust the crazy man on the roof more than me. Yo, Kim, please. If the lieutenant agrees, then maybe, just maybe, you should pay attention. I feel like you have a point. Don't trust me. Trust the mother. I'm only the messenger, Holmes. This is the church of the mother of silence. You are welcome here. You have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Is he just trying to throw you off your game? Whatever it is, he's quite confident about it. Just look how gracefully he sways. Tis not an act, my liege. Save him perchance, he hath deceived his very self. This man is a zealot. I'm, I feel bad that we're going to kick out a religious person in this church just for a rave party. Hey man, a rave is like a kind of religion. In a way. That's true. I've never been to a rave. I really want to go to one. I feel like I should get like a valve index and just go to VR chat raves. <laughs> just drink water. No matter where you are. Water you get from your own sink, of course. That's the best kind. It's yeah. free. That's why Hirohiko Araki says he's so good at writing uh, mangas, because he drinks Tokyo tap water. He's undoubtedly correct. I'm just trying to get some for myself, so I can be a great mangaka as well. I already think you're a great mangaka. Oh, thanks. I knew I had must... it in me. I haven't drawn anything <laughs> in my entire life, but, you know, I could just feel it. Drawing mangas isn't actually about drawing. You must be the crab, man. Never known myself to be a crab. But if that's the name you got for me, I won't stop you from using it. <laughs> Sorry, you just weren't moving like a human. No, it's your neighbors who came up with the name, not me. I always thought of myself more like a flame flickering along the rafters and beams. It may be that I gotta work on my technique. He sounds like the friend from Adventure Time who lives in the yellow cube. <laughs> what were you before, a crab man? I was in a was gang annoyed. way, but my memories of that time are fading. Most of them are already gone. So many people losing their memory. <laughs> Apocalypse mm. Cop? Eh. Hmm. Let's go with number three. I feel like that's the most meta. All right. That's not really the point, I said. You got to give yourself over to service. Service of the mother, that is. Do you remember your name, sir? The lieutenant is not particularly interested in this information. He's just trying to assert some control over the conversation. Tiago's my name. But those syllables don't mean much to me these days. 
A name isn't just your identity, but also, so to speak, your place amongst your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. I am the Tequila Sunrise Transformed. Unfortunately, we have accepted our name. <laughs> yeah, my name is Harry. That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters. What are you what are you doing here? Why are you crawling around the rafters like this? This is a special place. There's a perforation in the world up there. A way out into nothingness. This church was built around it for purposes of veneration. I circled it, nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'd be pure enough to go drink from it directly. Well, what happens when you drink from it? Do you get the refreshing taste of seven up? I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally, I won with the state of the world before reality began. That sounds a bit like substitution behavior, no? You know a thing or two about that. Hmm. Who's this mommy dommy of silence you keep talking about? Oh, that's no simple question, I said. She is one who can be painted or sculpted. She is a cavity in the dark beyond sense. She saved me, but I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes, and no one ever will. Yeah, why are you doing, what are you doing in the church? You're just here. Are these I'm a seraph, Holmes. I sing the mother's glory. Just sing for me. I am from No Marietti, if that's what you're thinking. And the song I sing is Silent as the Mother. Marietti is a mesque style of music and dance, commonly seen at all manner of festivities, especially weddings. It's delightfully quaint owing to its peasant origins. He lost his cool there for a moment. Seems you hit some nerve. Maybe he was a, a Marietti performer in a past life. <laughs> He's remembering it now. He's upset He, when he was in the Wheel of Samsara, he wasn't reincarnated as a kitten. How'd you, how'd you find this place? Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here, back when I still had material worries. Up there, I realized what the true purpose of the church was. Church been spending a lot of time church. here ever since. The past is nothing to me now, way. Eh? It didn't belong to me. This, I, I think we're gonna stretch and squash some words here. I think this is just another drug. You're, you're in, indulging yourself in the opiates of the masses. It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. Too gleeful, those words. He is lying. Not to you, to his very own self. Yeah, faith, much like hockey, is a kind of drug. <laughs> I heard that before, Way, and I know I can't convince you on the spot. But think, when's the last time you woke up from silent communion with a hangover, regretting what you did last night? Love is my drug of choice. I love love. All right. She took you for a good spin, huh? Don't worry, bro. That love is but a drop compared to the ocean of the mother's love. The mother will eat all of you and never spit you out. Well, we, it seems like we can't convince him. Ah. I guess you have a point. I know it will take time. Don't sweat it. I know it will take time. Don't sweat it. The sinewy figure lingers on the wooden beams, blending into the shadows. Yeah, yeah. Why is the church abandoned despite the fact it just looks kind of shabby? Police raid. 
a while back. Did you witness it? Not really, or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has done its job. That's what's so great about the mother. It lets you forget about everything. That's not good. That's that's antithetical to the plot of Star Trek V. <laughs> was that one of the good ones? No. Okay. It was, it was uh, the plot was Kirk goes to the center of the galaxy and finds a creature that pertains to be God. Everyone's like, oh, it's God. And Kirk said, why does God need a starship? Good question. Yeah. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. They the saw ones Star in the 5. ten outside? Right? I see them. Guessing they're the ones who call me a crab. Probably scared of me. All right, I was going to close this before we continue. The only good part about Star Trek V was the jetpack boots. That's all okay. I said. That's all. If there's any good thing in that movie, it's that. But yes. Fair enough. Uh, do you think they have reason to be scared? You are crawling around the ceiling. Nah, man. They look pretty funny. And I don't harm no one anymore. Anyway. Yeah, you're like super fly. You have everything just up there. Yep. In the top of the church. What do you think of the nightclub? Why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there, imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Might even be nice to have some company. All right. Ooh, well, he doesn't that's, care. <laughs> that's good. You could be like, we met the crab man, and uh, he's a friend. I mean, about the spooker machines. Why are they? See, Other just... spooker? Ugh. Oh, esa viejita es muy estudiosa. <laughs> Don't know, Holmes. The Aita is grandma. Like, are the machines like the things behind us? Like those arcade looking things? Or the, yeah, like the chalkboard things? and all the wires and stuff. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's like the, the pews behind us kind of looked like arcades for seconds, what I kept thinking. That's not right. Is there another person living in the church? Is no. the guy with the kid? I just call her viejita because of her clothes. She's actually quite young. Or maybe not that young. H is just one of the many masks we wear. All right, careful with that. Mm -hmm. Careful with that phrase. You don't know where she is? That's what I said, Holmes. But you both live here. Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and then. We got different interests. Nothing else? I'm afraid not, S.A. You just have to wait until she comes back, or... Or search through her radio computer. Hey, we can do that. We have a cube. <laughs> we do have a cube. All right. Thanks, Brad. Man. Well, that conversation was lengthy. But we it's learned a lot, I think, and we learned that uh, he is not necessarily averse to having his church turned into a nightclub, so that's cool. Yeah, I like him. I like him a lot. All right, well, let's continue looking through this church, but we'll have to do it next time. So, if yeah, you have been, thanks for watching. Join us in the rafters of our church. And imbibe the sweet silence. Or noise. We're going to make noise music up there. I'm gonna stick microphones in the in the rafters and just collect the ambience. All right. Bye.